<laughs> <laughs> this week on the mm, that's not it either. This week on the Midnight Games Cast, we talk a little That's bit about it. Final Fantasy XII, uh, the Brookhaven Experiment aim patch, and uh, we're going to discuss the top ten reasons why the PlayStation VR hasn't failed. Yes. Yeah. This is the Weekly Wrap-Up. This is the Midnight Gamescast. We record every Monday night at midnight, and then we bring it to YouTube every Tuesday as a weekly wrap-up. That's this video right here. You found it. Look, yep. this guy's back and everything. It's so exciting. I am. Really Welcome happy. back. I, yes. <laughs> I have long Sean. We love Sean. Thank you for filling in last week, buddy. Yes, but thank you very much. We now feel like the Gamescast is complete again. It's complete. <laughs> it's yes. complete. Uh-huh. Every Wednesday, it's a PlayStation <laughs> VR Theater, and every Thursday, as, uh, you know, that other thing we do, viewer takeover. Yes. As always, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, is Jeremy King. Hello. Dude, what the hell did you do while you were gone? Um, we went to Maine, just some fucking cabin in Turner, Maine. Just some cabin, huh? Yeah, it took us like a little over three hours to get there, we yeah. didn't leave till like 10 at night. Oh, that's a bad time to leave. You know what? It was pretty awesome anyways. It yeah. all worked out, yeah. You must have avoided some traffic. Oh, yeah, totally. There's 10 o'clock no at night. traffic. Good. Nice. None. Yeah. And to my left, you were right, Michelle Barracchioni. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Um, I went kayaking today. Nice. <laughs> yes, it was a lot of fun. I actually have been kayaking, kayaking since uh, 12 o'clock. <laughs> kayaking. Microwaving. Kayaking. Is that a new way to murder? Mm-hmm. Yes. Microwaves, um, yeah. Yeah. Microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we should probably Six clue up. these guys into the inside jokes before we start telling them, yes. but what are you going to do? <laughs> Awesome. They're they that inside. Yeah. They don't need to know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you. All yes. right. Hey, uh, you know what? We never do. We never do this. Uh, one of the loyal game cats. Wow. <laughs> uh, one of you guys, uh, JD, actually, who's like, he's like, you never say subscribe. You never tell the people to subscribe. Yeah, to the that's channel. true. Because we just assume that if you like what you see, you're gonna subscribe. Yeah. But I mean, you know we what? We hope you would. Let's let's yeah. just say it. If you like what you see, subscribe. And, yeah, please do. <laughs> was you are. Squeaky. That was super squeaky. It was super squeaky. That wow. was yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> <laughs> also, it was like if, adorable mouse squeaky. I'm, I might be losing my voice too. <laughs> uh, also, if we're ju- if you're just gonna do the stuff that we tell you to do, then make sure you click like on this video too. Yes. Because you know, if we only know you like something if you click mm-hmm. like. Yep. That's the only way. And True. then comment There's... below. Tell us you subscribed. No, this yeah. is the o- like like is the only way. <laughs> comments <laughs> they don't mean it. <laughs> All, right. All right, more comments. Yay! There's right. oh, so many, so many comments. Yes. Uh, and just before we begin, let's do our brand new segment. It's our new weekly mandatory microphone. <laughs> which way is it facing? <laughs> oh, no. it's facing the right way. Mine is also facing <laughs> the right way. Uh, mine is facing the right way. I think everyone's gonna be good. Indeed. Yes. All mics are facing the correct way. I think way. it might sound good this <laughs> round. For, for everyone who watched last week, we uh, greatly apologize. Um, sometimes, so so sorry. When we get this place set up, we set it up in a rush, uh, yep. and then some people are coming from work. Some people are coming yes. from work. Yeah, some people pretty are much. coming from bars. Some people are coming from outer space, um, and some yes. people don't leave. And some people are coming <laughs> outer space. All of your <laughs> face. <laughs> Say some people are coming what? all over your face. Is that what? Y'all, I heard? What did you just maybe say? when you watch and edit, y'all know. Nothing gets edited out. Bing. Bing. Remember that? That's been a while. It's been like yeah. 30 years. That's because it's been now get edited right? out. It's all Yeah, that's high. true. It's, we've gone it high tech. Before, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brian's grow, grown an extra finger. Shit for all does the get edited <laughs> out. Yeah. Uh, okay, so subscribe. Uh, yeah, honestly, uh, guys, uh, I don't know if you noticed when you came into the studio um, that there was an extra TV lying there on the... I did yes. not. Yeah. What happened? So this is interesting. I was, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been talking about how much I love my TV, and I think I talked about it too much. Like your you TV just, TV? I like think my, you my 50 it last inch on your HD. Too. It's a it's an old like eight inch eight inch. It's like <laughs> <laughs> an old one at that. <laughs> Brian, it's, it's it's a 50 put inch. some wax on it and shave it up. Too. <laughs> I really have. It's a 50 inch uh, Panasonic uh, plasma 
like and, and it, we've had it had it for eight years. They don't even make plasmas say plasmas. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and, and I was watching for for months. You remember this? For, for months, you, I'd sit there and be watching the, the TV, and it mm-hmm. would just get real bright for no reason. Right. And I'm like, that can't be right. And sometimes <laughs> it's probably not good. And sometimes yeah. I just think like poltergeist and shit. I don't know. Sometimes I just let it go, and then sometimes I turned it off, gave it a minute, and then turned it back on. Everything was fine. I was yeah. like, nothing's wrong. Easy fix. Right? But this TV, I got to say. For I probably it was probably on for sixteen hours a day for eight years straight. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like I use my TV. It owes you nothing. It had else, a good run, right? And so I'm sitting there watching YouTube the other day, and and everything gets bright, and then it just goes <laughs> like, oh no! Uh, and the power light starts flashing. I check it up online, and it's like, oh damn it! Done. TV's done. Yeah. TV's Can you done. imagine the the images well, that thing on. is projected didn't for you? Didn't you per- try to terrible fix things. it though? Well, on, that is- online oh, there are uh, there are home remedies for these things. Okay. You know, you type in Panasonic B era model number, power light blinking ten times, and so a bunch of people go. You know, you don't need to bring it to a repair shop. Here's a home remedy. Okay, and you can so they fix say, it, yeah, yeah they say take a hair dryer. Yeah, and take the back panel off. Now the back panel is surprisingly complicated. It's it's a metal panel that was screwed in with about seventy nine screws. This is like the old Xbox three sixty trick. It sounds like it is take right. It Wrap it in yourself. towels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, which that actually works. Anything, right? yeah, anything yeah. to not bring it back where you got it from. <laughs> exactly. So uh, and so I took off the entire back panel. I'm like I'm like mm-hmm. uh, spraying down the like, the insides what with what? What are we doing? Spraying it? You're spraying, <laughs> it, spraying it spraying, down. Spraying it everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> all over the place. So many gay references already. I'm <laughs> sorry. Why does it have to be gay? Penises. That's tr- it true. It can just be normal oh, stuff. I mean, you but just, I, I you keep just aiming, instantly went. No, I did oh, aim and a couple. Oh, now you're now doing that me? again? Now it's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, somebody thought that was hilarious. You're, yeah. you're like, this is oh, your definition of porn. You're like, yeah. what? That's because it was hilarious. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Anyways, back hair, on hair top. Dry, hair dryer all over the place in, into the back of the, uh, the television and all yeah. the places. Uh, and then I, I put the back panel back on and uh, I, I somehow I had an extra nine screws when it was all said and done. That's all I right. I don't think that's the right number that's of screws not, to have. That's it's an odd high. number, Typic- yeah. Typically, yeah. it would be like two or three. Needless to yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. TV's busted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no saving that thing. Uh, luckily, I got another one. Uh, thank you, mom and yeah. dad. Uh, they were upgrading, and I got the exact same TV. Perfect timing, too, huh? A plasma, Perfect. the same yeah. model. The same model. Same Eight years old. How does that my, even happen? My remote control. Actually, I didn't take my remote. Con- their remote control it still works. Mine works with theirs. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. It, it was perfect. Thank you, Mom and Dad. You're the best. Wow. So they happen to coincidentally be upgrading when your TV broke, or do you think they're like? Oh no, his TV. Maybe, no, no, maybe no, we no. need to help him out. That's a little how much bit. they love me. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's very nice. Yeah. They, yeah. they upgraded when they realized that's they could really help me. Out. That's really oh, nice. Yeah, no, no one was. Yeah. There was no doubt. My parents are amazing. Yeah. So what do you think? I think we should begin this episode. I'm ready. Are you ready? Are how you do, guys how do, ready? How do we? I'll, I don't know what to do. How do we do this? What are we doing? Um, we yeah. are going to play a little game of should we or shouldn't we? Going to put sixty seconds up on the clock. Clock up on the counter. The way that Jeremy likes it. Oh yeah, Kerplunk. Kerplunk. That was a great Green Day album. Kerplunk. Kerplunk. It was Green Day. It was yep. their second one. It was 1039 smoothed out slappy hours, and then it was Kerplunk. And I liked Kerplunk because Christy Road was a great song. Yeah. Should we or shouldn't we? we I should. wasn't a fan of Green Day, like at all. It's okay, oh, like but that's all right. I just I didn't. I, we, yes. We don't judge. Yeah. We judge. You're horrible. <laughs> just horrible. Anyway, 60 seconds up on the counter, where we're gonna tell you, the loyal Game Cats. Or at home, if you should be playing or watching or doing what we have been playing, watching or doing. (laughs) Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you should or you shouldn't. We're gonna tell you. Shouldn't shouldn't. Who's up first? Um, I'm gonna go first and get this out. Ready, Mark? Get set and go. Thank you very much. Um, I have had a very busy two weeks. Um, so I actually have not played or literally watched anything at all. Um, I did go to the Cape for the fourth for a couple days and went camping. Did a lot of swimming in the lake. Um. Yesterday, I went to a music festival, which was a lot of fun, but I was in the sun from basically 12 o'clock till, I mean, didn't even get home till one and something in the morning, so I was exhausted. Um, Music festival was awesome, levitate, it was great. Um, And then today, I went kayaking for the whole day, and that was awesome as well. I'm really enjoying summer. I know. Haven't been playing anything, though, so I'm very, very sorry. Um, Just waiting for a game that grabs me, and right now, Crash Bandicoot was not doing it for me. No. Tried it out, and uh, I lasted like an hour and a half, and I was like, all right, I'll never play this again. Cool. <laughs> so that was my should we or shouldn't we? You know, you make you make yes. the creation of thumbnails real difficult. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? 
and stop. <laughs> what am I going to put a fucking kayak? A kayak <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could. Cool, yeah. It's better than the hammock. No one wants yeah. to hear about that either. Oh, oh God. Nobody. No one, no one not one. Me. I know, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should at least talk about Crash Bandicoot, but I can't put Crash Bandicoot in the thumbnail <laughs> when you only talked about it for seven seconds. I didn't even think about it till the very last second because that was like yep. weeks ago at this point. All right, Brian Paul, you're up. Okay, thank you're you up. so much. On your mark, get set, and go. Guess what? Uh, so just before we started filming this, the Brookhaven yes. Experiment aim patch launched. Oh, right. Now, here's the thing. This game was definitely custom designed to stand in one place and use two move controllers, mm -hmm. and uh, and it worked perfectly. You know, there's a button to just, like, you know, turn around and buttons to fire, and everything was great, and uh, it worked perfectly. Yeah. So everyone was like, I can't wait for the aim patch. And I was like, Really? Uh, so I played it with the aim patch, and, uh, and I gotta say, it feels really good. It mm -hmm. looks really good. It plays really good. You gotta get used to the new button configurations and stuff, but everything's great. A huge difference. It well, yeah, because instead of having two two guns that you're oh. dual wielding, you've got one, and yeah. so it's a little confusing. You get used to the button layout. Um, but my one issue that I had was that it's a very dark game, and so when you're using a weapon that like you really need to look down the sights, yeah, mm -hmm. your gun is almost completely black in the darkness. I see. Uh, so you're like, I'm like looking down, I'm like I don't think I can see the sights. Huh. Like, forget about shoot yeah. something down the sights. Huh. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of adjustment, but you know what? It's free, so should we? Nice. There you go. Wow. You nailed it. Yeah. Nice. Nailed it. Somebody runs the show around here. Right. Mm -hmm. Apparently. Hey, it's, you look at this. <laughs> You stop that. Like, Are you You're ready? like the Jedi, and we're like, we should be the Padawan, but we're kind of gearing towards, you know... Is we it a Sith? What's dark it side? Sith? What's happening? What's, it's not a Padawan. What if it's their apprentice, apprentice, right? Is that what it would be? I mean, I'll probably get slaughtered in the comments. You're, yeah, I was like, you shouldn't have gone down the Star Wars path. That. I'm like, turn back now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, All right. Are you ready? Yes. Get set. Go. Okay. All right, so two things. Number one, as we uh, as we talk more and you guys talk more and you play more of these VR games, I find that it's uh, definitely well. You know, I only own one move controller. Crazy. I know. So I'm so limited, and I've Come I've been getting Amazon. to the point where I'm like, fuck. I want to buy another move controller because I'm missing out on a lot of these games that look really fun mm -hmm. that are required. So uh, I I do believe that sometime within the next week two week I, uh, do, well, believe. I do I do, I do believe I do believe in that I'll probably get another move controller so I can partake in some of these games yeah. you know yeah. especially Rush of Blood yeah. Right? Oh, yeah with the two guns oh, instead of the one not being constantly playing, like this like, Rush of Blood is a lot worth it all by itself right. yeah that that game it's, always out of all the demos was really fun mm -hmm. you know really good and number two. Seven Ooh. seconds to go. Final Fantasy twelve. Yeah. Very excited about this, but I'm also really nervous that I'll be like yeah, Michelle right. with the game, <laughs> play an hour and a half, oh, no. and I'll play again. Yeah, that's yeah. that problem with remakes. We were just we were just talking at work tonight about that. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Brian, one of our former mm -hmm. guest hosts, Brian Smith, uh, we were talking about like he's like I don't understand why so many people want to go back and play old games. Yeah. And I'm like I always think that I do until I try and then like it's this one I like, want to play oh, it. right yeah, yeah. And but an I, hour in I'll be like I'm good yeah mm -hmm. but there's certain games yeah. have you not Crash. played over and over and over Crash, yeah, Prince exactly. of Persia Sands of Time I must have I, I beaten didn't that, like game. that game the first oh time. my god I must have beaten that game honest to <laughs> bad example oh shit did I ever say when we were talking about games we've beaten more than a few times? I must have beaten that one 11 or 12 times. I think you mentioned Sands of Time, yeah. Did I? All right, good. Yeah. And Eternal Darkness as well. I've gone back and replayed those countless times. Yeah. So okay. I'm hoping with what they've changed mm -hmm. would be enough to keep me rolling because I had I had such good memories. I know it's kind of an, a, a weird... But you know what I'm saying? Like I had good memories it's gonna be another playing this game. Thing. It's, it's, uh, it's a weird one, but it's also one of my favorites that yeah. I remember playing because of the battle system because it was yes. like you could run around the play field and stuff and yeah. and like just dodge attacks by running it was awesome. away yeah. yeah it was much more, like more Gambit. fun yeah to, I'm curious to engage to in battles if uh, that still grabs you back into it or not right yeah I heard the story's a little all over the place. I don't remember the story well. I, I was drinking way too much. It was a more, little more linear, and I think a little bit... It wasn't Doesn't so like big and wide, like, yeah. world-destroying type of stuff. It was mm -hmm. more of a confined mm -hmm. story. But um, I thought it was interesting, and it's hazy in my mind, yeah. the entirety yeah. of the story. Well, so you that I'm you looking forward forget, to. But you I feel like it's like most of it though, so that you can go back and true, it can be a little more But new. I feel like it's like anything. You're like, oh, yeah, this is where... You know, and it might yeah. come back, but so what? Might be a good thing. I'm looking forward to it. So next yeah. week we'll we'll know if it, uh, yeah if you're into it or not. No, I might be like ah, you yeah. know. Yeah. I'm still in the tutorial. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> right. Yeah, how's Persona 5 coming? What? Mm. Mm. I bought that? Crickets. Mm. Crickets. Did I, did, I, it looks lovely back here, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I bought the it does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Worth it. Oh, yeah. Still worth it. Just for the collectible stuff Absolutely. Yeah. Atlas always nails I think it with this still, shit. You'll, you'll get to it eventually, though. Uh, yeah. No, you won't. No, not if PlayStation VR keeps going the way it's going. <laughs> Speaking of PlayStation yeah. VR, uh, an interesting video came to YouTube this mm-hmm. week. Yeah. Uh, now, listen, here's the thing. We, we wrestled with this a little bit because we don't. the last thing we want to do is promote somebody who shouldn't be promoted, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, give attention to something that, like, deserves less attention. Um so, but we, we've got to we've got to we've got to give this a little attention uh, for various reasons. I think it's worth talking. We have about. to be open. Yeah, you know yeah. that there's people that think it's not succeeding. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah so uh, it's interesting to hear what they have to say too. Well, when I mean, you're on the outside of the bubble looking in, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's different. When you're in the bubble, it's huge. We're yeah. in there being like, "Wow, it's successful." He might yeah. be looking out at me like it's a mini speck. It's like VR yeah. huge. You're looking everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But, but the question is, is how far outside the bubble is this guy? Yeah. Right. Yes. His name is Dreamcast Guy. That's what he goes by on YouTube. And mm-hmm. he put up a video called Top Ten. Yeah. Amazing <laughs> Great system. system. Yeah. Right. So Got already, you with the name so far? Yeah. Already, not bad. We're getting there. Yeah. yeah. Already, I'm like, oh, I kind of like this guy. <laughs> yeah. And then I checked out the video. So far, so and good. The video is Top Ten Reasons the PlayStation VR Already Failed. Yeah. And he goes through and he lists 10 reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we and we definitely have some issues with his ten reasons, and I think maybe we might even agree with some. Yeah, uh, it's it, like a solid six. I'm against. It's it's four. A, like, like well, right. had some good points here and there. If you're a if you're a PlayStation VR gamer and you love it, and you're like you know checking out the subreddit every day, and you're watching our channel every mm-hmm. day, uh, or you're me, or you're these guys, uh, or you're Desra, <laughs> it's it's a tough video to watch because. A lot of it comes from ignorance or lack of research or just, you know... One-sidedness. One-sidedness. He's like, well, this is my top ten list. I'm trying to prove a point. Uh, So let's go through these ten reasons. He he claims the PlayStation VR already failed one by one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Number ten, he started at... uh, He says it's too expensive. It's definitely expensive. It's pricey. Yep. But, I mean, if you already own a PlayStation, I can understand starting from scratch, but... um, who the fuck? I don't think that was really geared it's towards like starting from scratch system, to I mean, degree. It's, I don't know. It's definitely an add-on. It's expensive. I don't, I don't regret spending the money yet. We'll see how it goes. But he did. I, he did mention going strong. for yeah. uh, for he said for everything you need, including like the extra controllers and everything like that, mm-hmm. yeah. um, to get the full package with a, with a few games. He said it was a thousand dollars. That that number is wrong. Yeah. Uh, even with uh, with Resident Evil Seven. And you get the bundle, like with right. uh, with VR worlds and the two move controllers and and the, the two hundred and fifty dollar PlayStation the whole Four, fucking, yeah, everything. The whole and, the whole and throw in Resident Evil Seven just as the best game you can possibly play. Yeah, uh, that is only eight hundred dollars. Yeah, right now, so right. like a top top of the line, eight hundred bucks. Yep. Um, so he's went a little bit over on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, number and nine. you're not just getting a virtual reality console, you know, for you're, that money. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? You're I'm get thinking he bought like the case two, a couple more games. But I mean, like, a library a of, of PlayStation things. titles right. as well. You know, it's, yeah, right. But, you're so not he's just not, buying VR. He's not comparing. Right. He's not. No. So yeah, it's too expensive. I mean, it's it is expensive, it is expensive. but Pricey. is it too expensive? Meh. I mean, I didn't we bought think it. So. Yeah. Right. You know, I think I think my money was well spent. I don't regret a single penny. Oh yeah, you've gotten. I mean, shit. So I'm surprised that thing still yeah. turns on. <laughs> Bulky size. He called it clunky. He also said that it's the worst of the the three headsets out there right now: HTC, Oculus, and PlayStation VR. Okay. Uh, and uh, and it takes and, and because of its bulky size and all the wires and everything like that, it takes some serious time to set up if you want to play it. Um, well, I haven't played any of the other other yeah, ones at either. all, so yeah. I can't actually compare that. Um, the yeah. wires are a bitch, but I keep they the wires... I, I do it once, and then I just keep them plugged in always, mm-hmm. really. Um, so I haven't had an, I haven't ran into that issue yet, actually. Um, the rest of it's just like yours, tucked under the carpet, so I'm not tripping over it or anything like that, so... Yeah, my question for this guy is, is like, first of all, do you have a PlayStation VR? Because it sounds like he no just way. tried it somewhere, yeah. and that was it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and Because and, my deal is, is I set it up one time. I've only had to set it up once. Mm-hmm. The wire goes under the rug, like you said, and yep. it sits next to my couch in its case, ready to go at all times. So I turn on my PlayStation 4, I throw mm-hmm. in the helmet, and I'm ready to go, like, within two seconds. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm ready to go before the system's even done booting up. Yeah. Right. So, like, and also, even though I haven't played HTC Vive or Oculus, mm-hmm. the, I mean, the votes are in. Everybody says this is the most comfortable headset of all three. I find it comfortable. Yeah. 
I have, it doesn't I have bother no me. issue with like, it on my head. And you have glasses, so. And I'm the opposite of you two. I disconnect, put mine away. For real. And put mine back together again every time. That's well, crazy. Well, do you know why? Honestly, because it's not meant for children. Right. I don't oh. want to leave that laying around and have right. my kids be like, what is that? You know what I mean? Right. And then be like, it's an amazing or gaming world that transpires. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't but you it. can't try well, it. Let you me know what I mean? You. <laughs> so. I just put it all away so yeah. that they don't know it. And when I want to use it, I take it out and I have it down but does that to make that you... taking me to maybe 74 seconds. That's pretty you know? good. Yeah. I can just be like, don't, don't, click, click, click. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, Done. That's not bad at all. No. Yeah. I can get why people wouldn't want to have it out all the time. But I mean, if you're, if you've invested mm-hmm. in PlayStation VR and like, you're like, this is something I want to play. Right. Very seldom are you going to want to put it away. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, if if there was a situation where I had another room separate that was a gaming room, right, it would be hooked up all so the time. So it doesn't make you like game any less or anything like that to have to set it all up. No, again. if I want to use it, it takes me moments. It really yeah. doesn't take a long. Maybe the first a few initial times, you want to make sure you get it right. Mm-hmm. But there's not many things to hook and unhook when you you want to set it up. Number eight. This is gonna take an hour and a half. Yeah, we'll get we'll yeah. blast through it. Yeah. I, out of stock. He just said there's supply issues. Uh, right. And he basically said Sony didn't give uh, the fans or anybody good reasons mm-hmm. so that there was just like this lack of communication. It was out of stock and everyone's like, well, where is it? So that's why it failed. I would that's think that would fine. show it was successful. It Thank you. Number seven. Off the shelves, <laughs> you know? Number seven. Apparently Sony claimed that it's better than TV. That's his number seven reason. Better than TV. Uh, in cinema mode or theater mode, it makes everything look, this is a quote, flat and far away. Like a movie screen. Like a movie screen. Hmm. Which is what it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, seriously. That's what it's meant. When you're putting non-VR yeah, I don't things, if you're watching non-VR TV, yes, it's going to look flat and not far away. You can mm-hmm. adjust that to three different settings. Yeah. And the one that I use is way too close to my face <laughs> because bigger is better. We know that. <laughs> right? Number six. <laughs> I'm blasting through this. Sorry. Um, bad marketing. Uh, he, he claims that the, uh, that the commercials... Don't explain what VR is. Well, it's hard to. I can get that, though, because prior to it, I'm like, how do I know this is going to be worth it? It was such yeah. a chance because you don't, you can't relay that to somebody yeah. who hasn't experienced yeah, it. Yeah, as, you know? as he was saying that, it was like they were zooming in on people on the couch just like laughing and having a good time. And he was like, those were those were even fake, I think he said, too. Oh, yeah. And well, they yeah, he was, yeah. I knew what he was talking like, about. Yeah. Every time they show gameplay all around yeah. them with like that holographic yeah, yeah. VR mm-hmm. headset on. Exactly, yeah. I don't know. I mean, my question is, is like, I know I'm, I know I'm, we're older and, and like we've been waiting for VR like our whole lives. Right. Who doesn't know what VR is? Like, are there people out there who you go, VR, and they go, well, what's that? <laughs> right? So, I mean, p- please, and this is an actual question. It sounds yeah. weird to me, but I'm, there's probably younger people out there that, like, didn't grow up watching The Lawnmower I mean, Man. I recently mentioned it to one of my family members, and they had no the idea what I was talking man. about. Okay. So. And that's fair. Yeah. But, like, but still, it's, like, bad marketing. I could understand if there was no marketing, mm-hmm. you know, but they, it's not like they didn't try. Yeah. You know? right. It's like, how, how do it you... It was promoted. How you do know? you show this? In a, in a flat television screen, yeah, it's just, it's very. Let me difficult. show you VR without putting you in VR. Yeah, exactly. Really. Uh, number five, lack of games. Jesus Christ! Like this isn't a fucking argument we haven't heard. Yeah, it says lack of games. The library is composed of nothing but short experiences. So what's the That's switch? The same. How many games are on the switch at launch? You know what I mean? One. Is it, yeah, <laughs> a couple. Yeah. I mean, this mm-hmm. is a launch console. It's not mm-hmm. going to play normal. You have to play VR games. So it's going to be launch titles and yep. keep building from there. Plus, they're taking a chance. And it's only know? been out nine they months. They're I had like a high squeak, too. Dice. Yeah. Yeah. You had what? I had a high squeak, too. A little bit of a squeak. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So nine months. It's only been out. Uh, and so obviously the launch window is over. Like that was mm-hmm. a yeah. while back. Um, <clears throat> but but this is a new console. Yeah. And, uh, and any time you get the early adopters buying any new console, whether it be the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 or whatever the hell it is, yeah. there's always that first year drought where you're like, you know full well when you buy something new, there's going to be a couple cool yeah, games at launch. It. And then you got to wait a real long time for the next cool wave of games to come out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so this is, to, but to say that there's nothing but short experiences discounts a lot of the great games out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so uh, there's a ton of short experiences, but don't forget, I mean, just Resident Evil 7 alone. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we are, we already have new ones that have been announced that are coming out too, so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For instance, Skyrim. <laughs> uh, number four, no community. Yeah, all right. He basically, mm. but we're working on that. Yeah. We are working on we're that. We're working on that. But here's what he, here's how he uh, portrays no community. 
He says it's really difficult to get into a party with your friends and play like online with them. He yeah. says there's no uh, there's no there's no there's no couch co-op, which yeah. there is in some mm-hmm. games. Yeah. He goes, but it's hard to get into a party with your friends. Uh, meanwhile, in this segment, he's showing footage from t- with two loyal game cats, Lewis Knight was- and Seraphim. <laughs> Playing bridge crew. Their names are right above oh, their really? heads in the oh, video. And I'm like, talk about fucking community. This is our community. <laughs> yes. And he's claiming there's none. That we're all fucking they here. They used you guys. <laughs> right? I was like, so so hey guys. Yeah, right? That's you're, funny. You're, you're famous. You're more famous than you were before. <laughs> yeah, really? Yes. All right? Nice. Go subscribe to those guys' channels. <laughs> uh, number three. Sorry, I ran out of room. Number three, controller issues. Uh, he says uh, that the move controllers are ancient technology. And that you have to clear out all of your furniture and position yourself directly in the middle of the camera, or you'll get those constant messages. You're out of frame. Uh-huh. Hey, cars are pretty ancient. We're still using them. I mean, they yeah. found the use to keep costs down, to utilize stuff you already had, and use these controllers, because why would they need to build a new one? Because it would probably look similar, and people would be like, why do they just... This is... They're going to make more money This is the one number us? when I was like... I have to move my um, my coffee table every time I play VR and move a chair over because it doesn't actually reach the couch. It's too far back once again. So yeah. so I do have to do a little bit of rearranging in order to play. Um, but. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying that, uh, that I'm the majority. It still doesn't majority. stop me from playing, though. I'm yeah. not saying that I'm the majority, but like when, when I want to play PlayStation VR every single day, I don't put it away. I don't put furniture in front of me. Like right. I, I'm like, I want to be able to play whenever I want to. So I just leave it the mm-hmm. way it is. There's no coffee table in front of me. There's right. no nothing. Yeah. Um, but in fairness, people do have better lives than I do and like, you know, real families and things. And so, yeah, maybe you have to move some furniture. But but I don't find an issue with the controllers. I think they're incredibly accurate for what you mm-hmm. have. Mm-hmm. Mine are original PlayStation 3 launch models. Yeah. Like from when Move launched on PlayStation 3. I really, I, like the, them. I really like the Move controllers. I do yeah. too. Yeah. It, of course, one day we'll get moves to, move with uh, analog sticks in them, I'm sure, mm-hmm. but I'm assuming it'll still be the same technology. And don't forget the aim controller is fucking phenomenal. Aim controller is awesome. Yeah. Right? Yes. You, you can't call that uh, ancient technology when you're standing in VR and gives you that amazing yeah. feeling. It's, it's so really immersive. Perfect, you know? Right? You yeah. have to get another move controller. I do. Just have to. I do. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Number two. Two. Motion sickness, two. which he called movement sickness. All right. Movement, movement sickness. sickness. <laughs> sure. Uh, he blames it on the blurry graphics and the uh, and the screen door effect. That only it only I happens f- in certain games yeah. and every now and then. I don't know if it is. It I mean, is I've gotten woozy, single... but it's. I mean, that hasn't happened in a while. It yeah. hasn't. You know, most people I also get think over maybe it. Very it was, um, yeah, maybe it was just something you have to get used to or whatever. Yeah. Just first time being like, oh, this is weird and new, and now it's like, okay, I can yeah. play it. It's the, fine. D- the device. What it's doing by nature is tricking your brain into thinking you're somewhere you're not. Right. So when you're moving in a game and your body's like, I'm not moving, yeah. that's a normal first reaction to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it does take a little while to get over. Yeah. And, and then once you do, it's phenomenal. Yeah. So, it, I mean, I, I do know that, I mean, maybe again, the motion sickness uh, population out there, maybe you're the minority, maybe we're the minority. I don't know. I don't have any stats on this. Right. But, but I know Dez, Dez tried to play Battlezone this week. Yeah. It lasted about five minutes. And that's supposed to be, you know, a pretty good one to ease you into uh, motion games. So it's wow. he's, he's been having trouble since the beginning, too, though. He has. Yeah. We're getting him there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every week we check in on him right. to see how he's doing. So how's I feel it like going? Just yeah. Like green and like all spittle. Well, that was, yeah. like that was the first time for sure. <laughs> and then number one, he claims it's the new Vita, that Sony is not making any new games for it and isn't encouraging third party support. He said they said uh, st- they spent millions of dollars developing the PlayStation VR and immediately gave up. I definitely don't, I don't think, think they, they gave, gave up. up. No. In fact, no. uh, E3 this year was one of the greatest days of my life with all <laughs> with all of the just, PlayStation VR announcements. They just kept giving more and more VR. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. was awesome. We, we got Skyrim coming VR. We possibly have Fallout mm-hmm. Four coming, which yeah. I'm, I'm it's, at this point it's all but announced. Um, and then, yeah. of course, what else was announced? Uh, it was Moss, the Inpatient, Moss, yeah, uh, yeah, Special Forces VR. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, quite a few. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So many cool games on the horizon, and even just this week, coming this week, which I forgot to mention. Oh, what's coming? Uh, we got Fantastic Contraption. That'll probably be out right around the time you guys see this. Mars mm-hmm. 2030, which, uh, as we checked in VR theater, uh, as it turns out. You get to explore hundreds of miles of the of Mars mm-hmm. landscape. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know it was that big. Wow. And the Bellows, which is okay to be fair, a fifteen-minute horror experience, like whatever. Yeah. Right. Uh, hopefully, they don't charge us for that one. 
Uh, so, but there's new games coming out almost every week, so I, I don't know what... They definitely didn't give up completely. No, totally no. not. And, I mean, I, I as far as the whole Vita reference in comparison, I hope not. Yeah. It's way too soon to tell, because the Vita was a good system that obviously went flop, but it does have a lot of great games on it, which is strange as well. And there are mm-hmm. still new games coming, coming out, out yeah. every single week for the Vita. Yeah. I check Amazon and it's like, oh, hey, here's a new dating sim. It still sim blows or, my or mind that this still coming novel. out. I, yeah. think, crazy. I, think, I think that this guy just, he doesn't have a VR. Yeah. So he's just taking all his information in and just yeah. throwing it at us. I don't, I, it I don't sounds know. like he does a new top ten list every single week. Mm-hmm. And, and, it, and so how much time can you really spend researching your video if you have to get another one out every single week? Right. Right, every single Thursday is his top ten or something. It's almost like yeah. he asked his mom to buy him one and she said no. And he's like, <laughs> they are stupid, you know, yeah. to all his friends. So it doesn't seem like he... What, wants one what killed me is when I looked at the comments this guy's got 60,000 subscribers so many in yeah. the comments so many people agreed with him yeah. like yeah VR's stupid I'm glad it died I'm glad it's not happening because it's dumb or what? and I'm like what like, but wait, a, why? But you would, there's I a think whole population out there, people overall, who never tried to be they want it to fail. But you, you would know? want it, I was just going to say, you Welcome would want to it internet. to succeed. Yeah. yeah. You know, you want it to be cool, don't you? Yeah. I mean, like, did I like the Wii U? Not entirely. Did I want it to fail? You know? No. no. Uh, why would you? I'd rather that? have a fun system to play with, you know? Yeah, it would make no Poor sense. Wii U. Yeah. All right, guys, we better move on because this has been the longest oh, it has weekly wrap-up ever. Longest. Yeah. All right, so uh, make sure you come back tomorrow for PlayStation VR Theater when we watch a bunch Theater. of brand new, not ever true, trailers for PlayStation mm-hmm. VR because, you know, there's no new games coming out for it, so I guess no. it's just going to be us sitting around nope. shooting the, the same videos they we've watched. Week week <laughs> <up>. They already <laughs> gave up. They already gave up. All right, uh, so for the weekly wrap-up, I'm Brian, that's Jeremy, and this is Michelle, and we'll see you tomorrow. Feel it. It's like a matte finish. Oh, I can see it from here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like the artwork. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. they always great. have awesome artwork. Yeah, I forget the uh, the the Japanese artist. Yeah, name, I don't know his name, but phenomenal. I love can... his stuff. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Is there Shiny a manual game? game? Ooh. If there is a manual, could be, that... no. no. Fuck oh. you. I was gonna say oh. if there's a manual, I'm buying. Oh, you still just got his hopes up too, right? We've talked about nice thick manuals, but yeah. I I miss those days of manuals. Thick Emmanuel Lewis's. Thick Emmanuel Lewis. Yeah.